Does your iPhone camera sometimes flicker when you shoot video inside with electric lights? iOS 14.3 may have the solution for you. Hi, I'm Rafi Sar from Syncopa Productions and I'll explain what this is all about. Up until iOS 14.2, the iPhone's camera was locked into shooting only at multiples of 30, so it would shoot normal video at 30 or 60 frames per second and 120 or 240 frames per second for slow motion. There's actually one more option which is 24 frames per second to give a more cinematic look, but that one is no issue. In the US and some other places where electricity runs at 60 Hz, those frame rates, which are multiples of 30, would be just fine, as the shooting frame rate would be in sync with the electricity's alternating current speed. However, in most parts of the world where electricity runs at 50 Hz, places like Europe, most of Asia and Africa, that speed is not in sync with the video frame rates, and as a result, you may get this flickering effect when you shoot using your home lights, which are connected to the main current. Luckily, in iOS 14.3, Apple added the ability to shoot in 25 frames per second, but you need to turn this on in your settings. Let me show you. So here in iOS 14.2, if you tap on the frame rate, you could only select 30 or 60, or if you switch to 4K, Again, 30 or 60 and also 24, but those are the only options. We can also see the same thing in the settings, select settings and then camera, and then select record video. And again, you can see the same settings, 30 and 60 frames per second and 24 only in 4K and that's it. So then I upgraded my iPhone to iOS 14.3. Now when I go to settings and tap on camera and then on record video, I have this new option here that says Show PAL Formats. PAL is the European format, and if I turn it on, poof, there we go. There are new 25 frames per second options for HD and 4K. Now if I go back to my camera and I tap on the frame rate, we can see the new 25 option show up as well. And one thing I find out is that Apple added the option for 25 frames per second, but they didn't add the option for 50 frames per second as the equivalent for the high speed 60 frames per second. Hopefully they will add it in a future version of iOS. Now I'm in a 50 Hz country and if I switch to 60 frames per second, you can clearly see the flickering. And if I switch to 25 frames per second, there's obviously no flickering. However, when I switch to 30 frames per second, I would have expected to see flickering, but I don't. And I haven't actually, I think since iOS 13. So I always thought that Apple took care of it automatically, identified the flickering and changed the frame rate automatically to remove it. But I don't have any proof to back this claim. If you have any information on this, please write it down in the comments. In any case, if you have this flickering problem, now there's a built-in solution. If you do want to use 50 frames per second or other frame rates, you can use third party apps, one of the best ones being Filmic Pro, which I'm using right here. And here when I click on the frame rate, you can see that I have many options and I can even select something in between. And we can also clearly see the flickering when I choose a frame rate, which is a multiple of 30. Another reason why you may want to shoot in 25 frames per second is if you're a filmmaker or YouTuber and you have a second camera where you are filming at 25 frames per second. In that case, it's best that all your cameras are filming using the same frame rate. You can mix and match different frame rates in a movie, but it requires frame rate conversions which don't always look good. So it's always best to use footage which was all shot using the same frame rate. So there you have it. Click the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Until the next time.